Hello everyone and welcome back to the secret world. It's been a little bit of time since I've last played this. Uh, I haven't really touched the game since I did the end of days event. As you can see I'm still dressed up in my garb from it. So let's go ahead and switch back to our normal uh, uniform. As you can see my inventory is quite filled. A lot filled more than what you saw beforehand. Uh, this is mostly from the end of days event. I managed to procure a lot of weapons and items that I can't actually use At least at the moment because their QL Levels too high, but a lot of this I can probably just get rid of As most of it I probably would not use Things like the spear and such like that, I don't really have any particular use for. If I did anything later on, it'd probably be something with like the fist weapon and maybe some sort of like, uh... Chaos thing or something, I don't know. Because I did notice during the end of days event, my setup of basically only using the shotgun is sort of becoming inferior the farther along as I get. In fact, when I was wandering in the uh, Blue Mountain area, I could not do much at all. Although, that could also be partially because of uh, that being an area that I should not be in at the moment, but. Alright, at the moment we're here at the academy, but Hello. I do remember, I believe, that we had a person that was, um, there was a person near the amusement park that I think I passed up at one point. I think that's glitched out, because those should not be devastating. Those would be, like, at hard, maybe. But anyways, I want to go check out who that person was, because I do remember they had missions for us. I do remember making a mental note saying that I probably should go back there. So that's what we're going to do. So the academy is going to wait for a little bit. I can also probably do the side mission that I have in my slots at the moment as well. I believe I started on it or something along those lines. Did I start on it? I don't remember. We also got this hatchling, which I believe was the... I believe this was the pet that you were supposed to get if you were like in the top 100 scores for killing Mayan zombies, but I, they changed it up so everybody got it anyways because a lot of people found out that um, you could use the wards at the hippie camp and the wards at the academy destroy man zombies very quickly and very efficiently. So yeah, that's pretty much the reason why there were everybody had such high scores with it is because of that. So they end up giving the pet and I think there was probably a title if I remember correctly instead of only the top hundred people. Oh, now I remember why I didn't play this for a while. It's because I was waiting for the end of days event to, to be done with because of the fact that mayans were popping up underneath me every five seconds. That was a complaint that I was hearing a lot from people. Alright. No, we haven't started this one yet. So we're gonna head off to the woods here. And also I think I'm gonna change up my inventory a bit. Because to be honest, I'm, there's at least two slots there that I could uh, get rid of that I see. 
that I never really use. Well, one of them I use a lot, but I have a, a one that is more damaged now, and I haven't gotten rid of the first one for some reason. Kill three scavenging Wendigo. It's always Wendigos, too. Ooh, there's another mission here. Blue Flames. Death Cult Magician. I think this might be a safe spot to, like, uh, mess around with the stuff here. As you can see, I've still been working on shotgun and piss. Uh, shotgun and fist. Yeah. I want to do a bit more into fists, especially healing. Healing is a must because my fist techniques are going to be centered around healing. Such as this one right here, look your wounds. Uh, whenever you attack, you get a bit of, uh, of your health back. Not much, but it's something. Nurture as well could also be good for us. Because for quite a bit of time here, there is really no easy way of getting your health back if you're in the middle of a battle. The only thing you could do is use items if you don't have the skills for it. And while I have the items now to do that for a while, um, for a long time I did not have anything to really help me out if I was getting low on health. Because a lot of the drinks they give you tend to be like barrier drinks where they give you like a um, barrier for a certain amount of health for like 10 seconds. And those don't tend to be all that efficient to be honest. And so now we have all the inner wheel uh, fist abilities here. I'm actually interested in knowing if I could reset all of these if I needed to. Because if this doesn't work out, I'm probably at a bad spot. Hmm. See, all of these are pretty good. They're all like healing abilities, which is what I want. So let's go ahead and equip the actives and the passives here. A lot of my passives I don't particularly want to get rid of, though. That's the only bad thing. Oh, I just just got into a battle for some reason. I thought I was in a safe spot, but apparently a monster just snuck up on me. It's actually one of the Wendigos. So I guess it's not too bad of an enemy to sneak up on us. It's one we're looking for in the first place. Where was I at again? Oh yeah. Equipping stuff. Well, I don't really need anything from the shotguns equipped, because I already have all I need. The only things I would think about equipping with the shotgun is like something along the lines of the mine technique, where it drops mines, or the turret technique that I saw. Those, one of those two. Like, yeah, the defensive turret.
or something along those lines anyways. Anyways, I definitely need Lick Your Wounds uh, for a passive. Hit and run. I think I can go without hit and run. And the only other thing I could probably need would be nurturing gift, which would make the um, duration of nurture go on longer. Since nurture is a healing ability, but... I definitely need to check out that that uh, healing stuff that that particular segment has, uh, but I don't have the um, AP to spend on it at the moment, so I basically just used it all. Alright, I'm gonna set Buckshot right there. Well, actually... Yeah, Breaching Shot could go at the end, because... I don't use that that often. Because those five right there are the most I use. I could even maybe get rid of the fourth one, but I kind of like the slowdown effect it has, so... I think I'll keep it for now. Okay, definitely Nurture is going to go on here. Because basically it's a small heal, so... Beyond that, I don't think I have anything else particularly that I need. I could probably put in some sort of claw technique since... I'll go with that one. It looks like we're being attacked again. Probably by another Wendigo. Yep, it is. Okay, so that final one doesn't do much damage. Probably because I don't have any uh, damage put into it. die in here. That's not very good. Luckily though, I think I'm gonna end up beating it anyways. As you can see, I am getting heals. They're very small, like around 10 a shot. Yeah, it's averaging about 10 a shot. Oh, yeah, that is like your rounds. I guess it, uh, it's one of those that does the, um, the chaining, so it lasts longer. Whatever you call it. 
Nurture, I don't think, does that much either. I'm pretty much done with messing with the stuff, to be honest. Maybe find something to put Nurturing Gift in there. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much done with this. I don't think I don't I don't think I need anything else. I think we're about ready to go up here and knock some beds. Any other window go around here so I can get my last one. I'll just get this first. My fist, uh, stuff. My fist, um, resources go up with my shotgun blast, which is good. good. Has a huge heal rating, but nothing much else for it. Dead have risen of Fiskarat woods and are summoning strange blue flames all across the forest. Could this be a ritual to unearth more zombies? Find out next time in Secret World Z. What is that thing? Kill death cult magicians and death cult practitioners. Need six of them, but first we're killing this Wendigo because it's just hanging out over here. And there we go. The next one is go to Red Baits and Tackle. Well, we're not going there just yet. Because we still have two other places to hit up before then. Is that mushrooms? Okay, there's mushrooms there. So I guess we just have to kill a bunch of magicians and practici practitioners. Oh. 
Okay, wait a second. This guy seems a bit strong. I think I just maybe had a bad time with that. I don't know. Okay, that's not... Okay. We resurrected close enough away. Oh, here's some. Here's the... They're the same ones that were here before. But, eh, who cares? I can kill them again. Because they didn't count the first time. <laughs> There's some more healing there. I had to sneeze there for a second, sorry. <laughs> In bag rounds. Shotgun turret, that's what I want. Yeah, they can barrier themselves. I remember enemies like this. There's two down. There must be more of these blue flame pits. That's the only place I've seen these guys so far, so I guess we're gonna have to search them out. Let's not mess with those guys. Why is that thing climbing in a tree? Okay, so they're pretty much everywhere. So this might be a little bit more difficult than I thought. Heck is that thing? Gun crew? Well, we're not messing with that thing. Here we go.
Oh, and it wasn't even mean to kill that one. <laughs> Just sort of died on the side for me. There we go. I see another pit over to the right a bit. It seems to be surrounded by those enemies though. I don't see a way over there. So let's see. Uh, yeah, they're like everywhere over here, so it'd be kind of difficult. And there's a window go over there too. That one might. That one seems to have one that's a little too close there for comfort. Over there looks like it might be clear. Let's take a look. Those are just mushrooms. Yeah, I think these are, these are good. Alright, and that's another mission down. You can go ahead and send the report for that one. And I do believe it's time to head towards the amusement park once again. I already got that, so... Yeah, I can't have it again, so yeah, I'm gonna get rid of it. Okay. And there's our little pet behind us. I'm gonna have to reorganize my inventory better. But I'll do that in a little bit. First, I want to head to this amusement park. To be honest, I thought I was going to be done with this place, but apparently I still have another set of missions to do around it, I'm assuming, since it was a guy that was sitting in the parking lot. Thing sure does stay behind pretty far. I'm actually not that very far from it. I think it's pretty much just straight ahead. Not into the tree. <laughs> yeah, I'm already starting to see the buildings. I think I may have just gotten a pack of zombies after me, but I don't really care. Unless they're the fast ones, then they can't keep up with me anyways. Uh, yeah, it's right over here. I forget which way the entrance is to it, though. I think it might be behind, might be behind me. Yeah, I think it's right over here, actually, because I can see the little statue thing. That is very good. So we're going to switch that out. I just now thought about checking that. <laughs> 